I just finished a film with Burt Reynolds, Cannonball 2. Time The Cannonball Run made a shitload of money, so it was only a matter of time before they made a sequel. There is no Cannonball Run this year, so buy one. Run good <laughs> After the writing-directing team of Hal Needham and Al Ruddy failed to light up the box office with the film Megaforce, oh, shit. they added Harvey Miller to the writing team and tried to convince the studio to finance another star-studded cannonball picture. Now, Hal, before we do anything here, I gotta take a quick look at your last picture. I haven't heard good things. Talking about high tech. Ooh. So you got another masterpiece script for me over here, I see how. I'm telling you, man, this screenplay is the best thing I've ever written. Well, the bar isn't very high. I mean, our quality control expert over there just took a hot shit on page three. But it's so damn funny, you'll see. <laughs> Bullshit. With the folks at Golden Harvest financing again, Burt Reynolds teamed up with Hal Needham for one final car chase picture, the Cannonball Run 2, their sixth film together. We can't take nuns all oh, these. We're driving along and I see a pretty girl, she's hitchhiking, she wants to get in the car, a little action. <laughs> I mean, we've got nuns along, I'm good, but I'm not that good. Many of Burt's friends from the first film returned for this sequel, including Captain Chaos, Hi, baby. the great Dom DeLuise, you look and good. I look like a turd. You're going to drink milk? Yeah. Aren't you afraid it's going to curdle when it hits your liver? The legendary duo of Dean Martin and Sammy Davis Jr. My liver died last year. Jackie Chan. Jackie! Yeah. Jackie! <laughs> Jamie Farr. I have a weakness for blondes and women without mustaches. Jack Elam. Right now, open up there. And Mel Tillis. It's as humiliating as hell. Oh, I'm sitting up here. Joined by new cast members, led by legendary actress Shirley MacLaine. We're here to help you win. MacLaine was fresh off her Oscar winning performance in Terms of Endearment. Imagine you having a date with someone where it wasn't necessarily a felony. <laughs> Ricardo Montalban. You son of my ugliest wife. <clears throat> Richard Keel. A million bucks. <laughs> what do you say, Papa? Catherine Bach and Susan Anton. I think we're ready for the cannonball. Oh, yeah, I think so. Telly Savalas. <laughs> You girls ever here and there? Jim Neighbors. Golly. Tony Danza. No, 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 no. It's your turn, you feed him. The world's least convincing mobster, Charles Nelson Riley. You know you have a very big mouth. Don Knotts and Tim Conway. Pardon me, sir. We're uh... <laughs> And Bert's Man Who Loved Women co-star Mary Lou Henner. We're, we're affiliated together in the order of immaculate... immaculate. Chastity. I play Shirley MacLaine's sidekick. The two of us are actresses. We're dressed as nuns when we meet the guys, and we become part of the cannonball race and take our habits off halfway through. <laughs> Charlie's Angel star Jacqueline Smith was originally cast in the Shirley MacLaine role, but fearing the amount of improv involved, she dropped out, and less than a week later, MacLaine arrived on set. You got a full tank of gas in here? Please be careful with it. This was not Catherine Bach's first time appearing in a Burt Reynolds film, although they don't share any scenes together. Bach appeared in 1975's Hustle. Daisy, now how do you expect a feller to do his work with a pretty girl like you standing over him smiling? Bach is probably most famous for playing Daisy Duke on the TV show The Dukes of Hazard, a show that most would say tried to capitalize on the success of Smokey and the Bandit. I don't know whether I said I took the blame for The Dukes of Hazard because of Smokey and the Bandit. I think I did say I took the credit a couple of times. 
Chaos. Along with playing Victor and Captain Chaos, Dom DeLuise also plays mob boss Don Cannelloni, who behaves and speaks like the Godfather. I passed on the promise of the Don to my son Don, making him Don Don. Producer and co-writer Al Ruddy was clearly spoofing his Oscar-winning film. This cat is dead. Surprisingly, there really isn't too much racing in Cannonball Run 2. The movie's main plot involves gangsters and a plan to kidnap the sheik for ransom. This better work, Tony. Obviously, you are a damsel in distress. Like in the first movie, director Hal Needham has his cameo role. He's the driver of a Porsche 928 wearing a cowboy hat, whose car is crushed by the monster truck Bigfoot, driven by owner-creator Bob Chandler. JJ. Hal's red Ferrari 308 GTS seen here was also used in the first film. You, hey, honey. And this red Lamborghini Countach was owned at the time by Catherine Bach's Dukes of Hazard co-star John Schneider. Cannonball Run 2 is probably best remembered for being the final big screen collaboration of Rat Pack members Frank Sinatra. Get up. Dean Martin and Sammy Davis Jr. The last time I saw Frank was on the set, Cannonball Run 2. Mr. Sinatra? You may call me Frank. I can call him Frank. Not yet. It turned out to be the last movie he did. Get me Don Don. <laughs> I was fortunate enough this year to do a picture with Frank. Well, I, I wouldn't say do a film with Frank. I mean, he, he worked one day. Frank flew in on his own jet at his own expense. It's only money. His first one on the set, Frank was in a good mood, joking with everybody. Sammy Jr. and Dean Martin were there, making him laugh. Frank, can't you see we're busy? That's why I want to get a head start. See you in Connecticut. The 1984 Dodge Daytona Turbo Frank Sinatra is driving in the race was one of his own personal cars. I am here to participate in your little jaunt to California. Sir Roger Moore was again offered the role of Seymour Goldfarb, but turned it down, feeling the joke could go no further. Roger Moore. He later regretted that decision after finding out that Frank Sinatra would be in the film. You are killing me, Seymour. Molly Pecan, who played Seymour's mother, did return for this sequel, but only in this short and memorable scene. Would you boys like to stay for dinner? Molly was best known for her role as Yenti in the classic film Fiddler on the Roof. Richard Keel played Jaws in the Roger Moore, James Bond movie, The Spy Who Loved Me. <laughs> this film featured a car that could drive underwater, just like the car in The Spy Who Loved Me. And also they play the Jaws theme, a nod to his character's name. <laughs> You might spot American football legend Joe Theismann wearing a skull bandit cap here. Honey, I got a tool that'll fix anything. Isn't somebody going to say cut? <laughs> this was the last Burt Reynolds movie of the 1980s to feature outtakes during the closing credits. <laughs> now, if your mother could kiss like that, she'd pop. Yes! Don't you want Sir. <laughs> oh, shit, I wasn't getting a lot of money. Sorry, we got this. Animal, we're not, we're not, we're not. Don't get it from the ground. <laughs> what am I going to get? We're not taking those nuns off. What's the matter with you? Uh, sir, uh, it's a cannibal is a race from Connecticut to your ass. <laughs> I was in Cannibal, too. <laughs> It was the greatest thing to see was that Bert did all his stunts. Yeah, well, you have to do that when you got a lousy script. The critics were brutal in their reviews of this movie. It's time for Siskel and Ebert, Bert Reynolds' shitty film review. Wow. Cannonball Run 2 is every bit the disaster that I thought it was going to be. Oh, certainly. 
This film is absolutely the pit. <laughs> it is a complete mess. <laughs> so the race is run at the end of this picture, unbelievably, in a cartoon sequence. That's the moron. The Cannonball Run 2 is a total ripoff that gives movies a bad name. I was the first guy to come on and say... The picture sucks. It's a real bad movie, and you know it's really sad what Burt Reynolds is doing with his career. We were just wondering if you could give us a little advice on our careers. Here's a guy with talent who's been in some good pictures. Jury's still out on that. Do you expect mm. anyone that's been five bucks for mm. this garbage is amazing. And my money's going to be gone before I even get to the car. His fans did not go to see this film. No shit. No shit. They knew it was a skunk from the word go. When I was number one, I get the worst reviews I've ever gotten in my life. This movie is as close to zero as you can get. I really don't like this guy. And that was just another pointless sequel that didn't have to be made. Siskel hated it so much, they named it in their stinkers of 1984. Did you see uh, Cannonball Run 2? No. Hey! That was the second worst film of the year. Really, that was? Yeah, I thought so. You... Failed. I didn't give a shit so much that if I met you during those years, I'm sorry. And that's the end of this Siskel and Ebert Burt Reynolds shitty film review. Cannonball Run 2 raced into theaters the same day as Arnold Schwarzenegger's Conan the Destroyer. It opened in third place behind Ghostbusters and Gremlins, both in their fourth week, but ahead of Conan. Hey, did you see that picture where the bad guys get the last request? I'd like a wine list. Even though the film wasn't a huge hit, the impressive cast assembled for the time was an amazing accomplishment. That's who Bert was. He was able to just galvanize people. He got them all on board. Everybody loved him and wanted to do whatever he asked them to do. Your money? I'll blow you away. I'll take the money. <laughs> Everybody's jumping in because uh, they all heard that we had a lot of fun on Cannonball 1, so they want to have some fun too. The movie wasn't good, but we had a blast. <laughs> people have to realize this, how difficult it is to be yourself and be interesting. Hi, I'm Laverne. And one of the ways that I've done it is to go so far into Bert and find something that hopefully is vulnerable and funny and yet self-deprecating. <laughs> that I've given a lot of myself away. Watch for new movie reviews and documentary series. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell so you know when new reviews arrive.